Uh, with an offense as powerful as the Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes, how important was that start to this game? I um, mean, you know, anytime we, we take the ball, we'd like to have a fast start and something we focused on all week. And I felt like, you know, the guys executed, um, you know, we're able to hit a play there to AJ and then get on the ball and, and, and operate. How big was starting off in that Temple offense? Like, how big did that? I mean, it looked like it helped. Sometimes we go on the ball and it works. Sometimes we go on the ball and it doesn't work. Today it worked. What killed that pass rush, Mike, and how much did that set the tone for everything defensively? Well, I mean, where you're at in the game, you know, force them to run the football and, and even early on. You know, I just figured it, you know, we would probably be willing to rush the passer and, and have him, you know, hit a few handoffs there um, early in the game. So, but I think the score dictated a lot of that. Do you feel like this is your most complete performance so far this year? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, the way we started and then got some stops, got turnovers, took advantage. You know, there's going to be things in the second half that, you know, we probably are going to want to do better, but, you know. We'll take a look at the tape and then we'll we'll move on. At the end of this game, Mike, did you start to even in practice start to see from Dupree signs that you know maybe a game like this was coming from him? I didn't practice uh, Friday, so it was limited throughout the week. So didn't see much in practice. Just hoped that he was uh, going to be available for the game. Well, I just yeah. on the deep ball was initially moved incomplete. <clears throat> there was an injury timeout, and you eventually challenged it. Did you have to? Was it, did it take a while to kind of look and see that you had enough evidence to win? No, we knew right away. It just I was asking them if they were going to have their helpers upstairs look at it, um, and they said something with the, with the amount of time that had um, elapsed that now it was out of their hands. So we challenged. I mentioned on Thursday that on offense you wanted to do more to play off of Derek and to take advantage of what he does. What did you think of the balance today? With it was good. I mean, I think we got to get going a little bit more. I mean, and give them credit. They they defended the run well. Um, but we were able to hit some plays down the field. You know, we talked about beating match coverage, and you know, guys did that. A lot of guys stepped up and you know took care of the quarterback for the most part. What do you think it was? Because they were playing a lot of close single high looks. What would happen to be able to take advantage of those? Well, I mean, when you play match coverage, you got to you know somebody's got to win. You got to play with physicality or route craft, and you know, the ball's got to come out, and you got to be able to be firm in the middle of the pocket, which. You know, when we complete those passes, you know, we are, and I thought it was a great timing to AJ and um, in those situations down the field. How big was it to see your team shake off the big win Monday night, put it behind them, and, and get back out for six days later? It's what this league's about. Win or lose, you got to come back and, you know, be ready to go. Next challenge, you sleep, you know, you sleep on anybody in this league, um, you know, it's going to come back to, it's going to haunt you. The package you have up front with uh, Dupree, Autry, Simmons, and Landry, what is it about that that makes it so effective for you guys? Uh, you know, four, four good players, you know, not coaching. And, you know, we try to give them a plan, try to give them something to go with. Um, sometimes they win in a straight rush. Sometimes we pressure. Sometimes they work games. And, uh, you know, I think those guys are all building some confidence and, you know, rolling some guys through. And there, Ola, you know, looked like he factored a little bit, unfortunately. You know, we just, I don't know if we could, you know, got off sides and, you know, Dane caught the interception, whatever. But I felt like Ola was trying to factor as well, too. Three takeaways today. Seems like they've been coming in bunches. Is that just a matter of doing the same things and now the ball's kind of falling? Well, I mean, I think, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think we're just trying to chart and track um, attempts, you know. And again, you know, everybody's screaming for Kevin to, to hammer it. And it was only a matter of time before he got over there and, you know, and did that. Um, but you just have to keep, you know, going after the attempts. You have to keep, you know, staying on your feet when you rush, and the quarterback pumps, you know, pumps it. But that's the guy we got to take it away from. You know, that's that's got to be the number one target every week. I didn't like how the offensive. You had the guys go out again on the offensive line. The guys stepped in. Some hadn't been here very long. Yeah, we held the Chiefs to three points too, Jim. So you know, everybody it was a great win for everybody. Great job, guys stepped up. Everybody did their job. Some guys can't go. Next guy goes in. Speaking of that, like a guy like Greg Maven, how much of a challenge is it for a guy to come in, you know, kind of, I know he's got some background, but a guy to come in pretty fresh and just jump in and, you know, start today. Everybody's expected at an internet team meeting on Wednesday, they should be expected to play in the game. You know, that's, then that's what we do. And give Greg credit, give Chris Jones credit, you know, Dane, you know, being able to, to jump in there to safety. That's how this thing goes. When you finally had to punt, Kern, two times. Uh, Off the corner. Run. Yeah, and did a nice job. So certainly going to have to use that as a weapon uh, to be able to go down there and punt the ball out of bounds 
or be able to, to, to get it to stop. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to get some stops and get our field, our, our offense great field position, you know, most of the time if we can force them to start inside the five yard line. You go one week at a time, but still two wins over two teams that are probably going to be toward the top of the AFC at home. How important is that? We're seven games in, five and two, so long way to go.